right? We'll start with opening statement from head coach Mario Cristobal. Right. Appreciate we'll you being here. Obviously, you know, played hard, played physical, played tough. Um, mistakes, miscues, and certainly gave ourselves a chance to uh, at least tie the game there in the end, but not good enough. So uh, we got to get better. Um, part of the fact that we know how to compete, or at least we show that we can compete in a difficult environment, but competing in itself is just not enough. You got to execute. Uh, you got to prevent shooting yourself in the foot on some things, uh, but we got a high character team. Competitive character is high, and we got to get back to working better. Well, you guys have been playing pretty well on special teams the first two games. The decision by Tyreek there to take the ball, I'm sure nine times out of ten, he probably doesn't touch it right. Yeah, he made a poor decision. You know, one that I'm sure you, know, you carry that one with you because that's very uncharacteristic of him. He's been a good decision maker, and it uh, certainly we got the gave them the football and ended up scoring a touchdown. So. Red zone touchdown efficiency is that one of the stories of the game? I guess got to be right down there four times, three field goals or three field goal, uh, one blocked as well, correct? So. Uh, we, we had a couple of penalties down there as well. We had a legal man downfield. That certainly hurt us and put us behind the sticks. Um, it's not good enough. You know, if you're going to get down in the red zone against a team like this at their place, with as good as their defense is, you got to score touchdowns. And, you know, try to put them, you know, behind a little bit and make them chuck the ball around a little bit because our D-line was playing well. Our D-line was getting after them, was putting some pressure on the quarterback. A couple runs popped out. Um, bottled them up for the most part, but certainly the defense uh, thought they played a really good game. And offensively, we had our moments, but we had our miscues. We had some drop balls. Um, we had some penalties, especially on the next to last drive where we had that punt, gave ourselves a chance with the defense playing great again, gave us the last possession, but uh, not good enough. So, Mara, Tyler's performance was off tonight. Um, is that how much was him, do you think, and how much was, I know he was down the receiver? Well, I mean, we've got to catch the ball too now. You know, I mean, there were some things he did really, really well. Sometimes he was flushed out of there, avoided pressure, avoided sacks, got rid of the ball, made some good decisions in the run game as well. Tried to run him a couple times. They were squeezing the backside so much, but um, you know, we got to we got to do a better job as a supporting cast to give him an opportunity. He made some really good throws. Sometimes we had some good catches. Sometimes we didn't. No, we, we, we don't point fingers in there. We just we don't do that. You know, we we played hard. We played physical. We played with intensity. We competed like crazy in good games, uh, I should say, against good opponents in tough environments. You've got to avoid making the mistakes that we made. You've got to avoid putting yourself in those down and distance situations. You've got to avoid uh, making a mistake on a, on a ball that bounces on a punt. So we'll learn. We'll learn and we'll grow. And bottom line is no one's going to pick us up. No one's going to help us. We've got to help ourselves. That's what hurricanes do. And so that's the whole focal point. At 17-3, you all had fourth and goal at the five. Uh, you just talk about goal for the field goal instead of trying for the touchdown to get to 17-10. Yeah, I thought we needed points. thought we needed a little bit of momentum. We had been down there, had one blocked, had missed another field goal as well before we're just outside of the red zone. thought I was going to get some points on the board and make it a productive drive. Mario, how, how long might Xavier be out? Is there hope that he might be Say back? Again, I'm sorry. How long might Xavier Restrepo be out? Is there any hope that he might be back sometime soon? or is this? Uh, it'll be a while. It'll be a minimum of six weeks. So, okay. Mario, 27 first downs without a touchdown. Have, yeah. you, have you ever seen that before? Like that's It's hard, right? Hard to, it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine. We had some really, really nice runs. Got a couple chunk plays in the passing game and uh, just missed opportunities. Give them credit. That's a, that's a good football team. They got a lot of really good players. Their D-line is outstanding. Uh, they call a good game on, uh, on both sides of the ball. And um, I thought our guys handled the environment well. I don't uh, I don't see anything that was shown by our opponent that uh, confused us. I think we, we saw, we practiced what we saw. We executed well on some plays and other times, just some real critical errors. Errors that you, uh, it's going to be tough to overcome them. You know, you know, in a way, you're you're fortunate enough to get a possession at the end of the game to try to tie it when you make some of the mistakes that we made. But um, now going back to the team in terms of effort and toughness, love it. I mean, we we do we go hard, and there's no quit in the team. And now real is real. We've got to get better. Playing a tight game doesn't automatically make you more successful next week. We got to go to work. We got to look in the mirror and face reality. We give up some opportunities that you just can't give. And we did that, and that's upsetting. And uh, you know, it should burn. It needs to burn. It needs to feel really 
in a way motivational, knowing that we could be a good team, but becoming a good team is not just going to happen. We got to keep working. You know, we've made some progress, but we should have, um, you know, could have coached better tonight. We could have played better tonight. We could have executed better tonight. And so you know, we'll get back, and we'll get back to work. A couple more questions for coach. What was your overall impression of the defense? Uh, a bunch of tackles for loss, sacks, you know, a lot of stops really kept you in the game tonight. Yeah, that front, that front seven, particularly the front four, put a lot of pressure on them, made them uncomfortable, and even some of those they made were under duress. I mean, they were consistently in the backfield. They got us on a couple of their gap schemes. They ran counter and split zone. A couple wide zones they hit as well, but aside from that, like you mentioned, made some negative plays. Um, certainly, you know, I think we had three or four sacks, but several quarterback hits and made it uncomfortable for the quarterback and allowed our coverages to play tighter. You know, that goes hand in hand. So, you know, proud of, proud of the entire team, of, of our effort, not the, uh, not the end result. So back to process. Do, Larry, how do you think these guys will rebound from this? Uh, in the, anyway, mentally, emotionally, whatever. Well, there's no choice. It's, not a, it's really not a choice. You know, we've worked very hard to become a competitive football team and to have an opportunity to punch through on a, on a big stage like this, and we came up short. There's no sugarcoating that, and I'm not going to sugarcoat that, okay? We have to go and get better and eliminate issues that hurt us in this game and also things that we do well to get better at them and go forward because no one, no one else is going to pick us up. We've got to do it ourselves. Great. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.